bunch of wonders of the world before they die. Do you guys know what any of them are? Okay, this is good. Okay, so the first one is the Great Wall of China. But um, a lot of them vary, and I know a lot of people think like certain things are uh, are certain wonders, like the Statue of Liberty and stuff like that. So a uh, Swiss businessman, Bernard Weber, decided to set up a website and have people vote on the new seven wonders of the world so that all the people of the world could have a say in which ones are the greatest wonders. And on July 7th, 2007, 90 million people voted, and so these are the seven wonders, that, these are the official seven wonders of the world. The Great Wall of China was made in 700 BC by Emperor Qin Shi Huangdi, and he wanted to create this as a sort of boundary for uh, protection over, Ch over the cities of China against mainly the Huns, who are northern tribes. And it's extremely long. When he made it, it was 5,400 kilometers, and then it was expanded in 6,400, I mean, it was expanded to 6,400 kilometers. Um, by the Ming Dynasty, and they also added cannons and watchtowers so that it would be more intense against um, guarding for enemies. And a lot of people say that you can see it from Earth's orbit, and some people say that you can see it from the moon because it's so uh, long. The next one is Petra, which is in Jordan, and it's kind of like a hidden ancient city that was built by the Nabateans. Um, the reason why it became successful, even though it was hidden, was because the ancient tree roots um, went through here, so that's how they made money. And in 363 AD, there was an earthquake, and so the entire city was kind of wiped out, and it ruined their water system, so no one lives there anymore. And then in 1812, Johann Ludwig, a tourist explorer, found the city. <laughs> and Petra in, in Greek and Latin means rock, which makes sense because the entire thing is made out of the rock and the showing sort of how nature goes with um, the creation of this. This is another picture of it. This is Christ the Redeemer, which they wanted to make, but they never um, they never really got to it for a while because they didn't want to make a Catholic statue and sort of have like um, religion coincide with the state. But then in 1929, Arch Diocese from Rio de Janeiro um, decided that he wanted to get started on making it, and a lot of the money going towards it came from the Catholic community, which is a big part of Brazil. Um, they also had to make it, des they had to design it and make it um, exactly what they wanted, and they chose having his arms out, sort of like welcoming the people. The sculptor was um, a Frenchman named Paul Landowski, and he made it with reinforced concrete and soapstone, and the soapstone keeps it from getting harmed by weather. And then in 1932, the statue was completed, and in 2006, the Archbishop constructed a chapel underneath it so that people can have baptisms there or get married. This is Machu Picchu, which is in Brazil, and it was made by the Inca civilization, and it has Palaces, baths, temples, and a lot of them are still in pretty decent condition that you can tell what they were. Um, they're made out of gray rock, which is also kind of showing how they made it from nature. And they found skeletons of 10 females and one male, um, which made them think that maybe it could have been a place where they trained priestesses and brides for the Inca um, civilization. But it's also said that it's they made it sort of astronomical because there's an Intuahana stone, which is that, and it indicates on the date of two equinoxes, like that's what it looks like. So. This is Chichen Itza Pyramid, which is actually called the Kukalkin Pyramid, and there's a few of them, I believe, and um, this Chichen Itza is a whole civilization, but the actual seven wonder of the world is the pyramid because um, during the vernal and autumnal equinox at 3 p.m., the pyramids all look like a snake, so it's really cool. And um, a Mexican researcher 
Louise Alarochi believes that it could have been connected to agricultural purposes. And the pyramid is 75 feet tall. This is the Colosseum. Um, it was completed in 80 AD, and it was sort of like the emperor's way to gain popularity among the people. And it can hold 55,000 spectators, and there's 80 entrances and exits. Um, there's also a Wizard of Valeria, which is a kind of awning to protect the people from the sun. And there are four stories of viewers, and the upper was for women and slaves, and then the lower was for um, men and like more important people. And in the basement, or the bottom of it, which you couldn't see, there was cages held for the animals because they would use it to educate the public by having, first they would have like a comical act, and then second they would show people exotic animals, and then the third, which was like the final big thing, main event, was the fights between animals and humans, I mean animals and gladiators, and um, the gladiators were normally like slaves or something like that, and it was always a fight to the death. And then the last one is the Taj Mahal, which was built by Emperor Shah Jahan for his wife, and it was completed in 1648 CE, and um, he designed it for his wife, and it's a mausoleum, so he holds um, his body and his wife's body, and he decorated it really nicely. There's flower designs and jewels and everything, and people say that at sunset or at dawn it glows. <laughs>